With waterfall pools, multiple fireplaces, champagne refrigerators, handmade chandeliers, and nine and a half bathrooms, sometimes it feels like the housewives are competing for whose crib is the fanciest on the show. In fact, it's almost as if they want to flaunt their interior design skills just as much as they want to flaunt all of their drama and catty fights. So, are you wondering just how expensive their spaces really are? We're about to find out. Heather Dubrow 52-year-old Heather Dubrow custom-designed her Orange County mansion that she lives in with her husband, Terry Dubrow, celebrity plastic surgeon and host of Botched on TLC. It is crazy luxurious, with 14 bathrooms, a million-dollar theater, a 10-layer chandelier, an interior courtyard, and a 28-foot-tall foyer with a $12,000 wine display. The estate is suggested to be worth close to $21 million. Heather did all the designs herself and didn't ask Terry for any input to keep petty arguments over interior design at bay. She opted for a neutral pattern and echoed colors and materials from space to space to keep a sense of uniformity. They even craned in an olive tree for use in the courtyard. The most enviable feature of the home, a champagne button that when pressed, rings a bell in the kitchen for it to be delivered. We could only wish to have that kind of convenience at our fingertips. Crystal Kung Minkoff, the Bravo newbie's Los Angeles house is worth around $7 million and is situated on an entire acre of sprawling land. Crystal and her husband, Hollywood director Rob Minkoff, wanted an expansive yard specifically for their two daughters to enjoy growing up around. And boy did they provide the dream playground for any young kid, having it custom built with a slide, swing set, and clubhouse. On top of that, there's a pool, obviously, that Crystal said is well used by her children. For the adults, there's a fire pit surrounded with cushy wicker lounge chairs that is perfect for lounging. The number of square feet in the home mattered a lot to Crystal. According to the housewife, the number eight is really important in Chinese culture. So I said, let's get a house 8,888 square feet. And we were close. The house is designed with Spanish themes in mind and includes a lot of patterned curtains and textile artwork on its walls. Cameron Westcott. Cameron Westcott's husband, Court, generously surprised her with a gorgeous mansion on The Real Housewives of Dallas's March 30th episode. Her reaction? He literally just bought me my dream house. I'm in disbelief the fashion designer and mother of two said. They purchased the home for $7 million in the fall of 2020, and it is the picture of luxury, with stunning dining areas, a gigantic 16-foot by 12-foot kitchen island, glamorous bedrooms, and a three-car garage. She even has a pink room worth $120,000 that features floral chairs, a magenta sofa, a stunning chandelier, and a velvet rope to keep the children out. Cameron was stressed out while selling her old house because she was nervous that someone else would snatch up her future dream mansion before she could. But everything worked out and Cameron and her family are happier than ever with their new ritzy Dallas home. Teddy Mellencamp Real Housewives of Beverly Hills star and self-professed accountability coach, Teddy Mellencamp's Encino Farmhouse is the estate of all our dreams. The home is newly constructed and was purchased by Teddy and her husband Edwin in September of 2020 for six and a half million dollars. The farmhouse has seven bedrooms and seven and a half bathrooms. It is the epitome of high class living, featuring white oak floors, a golf course, a chef's kitchen with two islands, a massage room, waterfall pool, a cabana, and even a bathroom basketball court. In finding this house, Teddy was helped by Real Housewives co-star Kyle Richards' husband Mauricio and their daughter Farah, who are both prominent real estate agents in Beverly Hills. She has listed her previous Hollywood Hills home, another luxurious mansion, for $6 million in August of 2020. Luann Delespies New York ex-countess Luann Delespies listed her Sag Harbor vacation home for $6.25 million in June 2018, five years after purchasing it for only $2 million in 2013. Why the huge price shift? She did major renovations on it. The estate has four bedrooms and bathrooms and sits on the waterfront of Sag Harbor Cove. It has expansive water views, wide plank wood floors, marble countered bathrooms, three fireplaces, and a large gourmet kitchen. The entire place can be rented for a measly $150,000 a month, which is sure to put a bit of a dent in pretty much anyone's wallet. Ramona Singer this 64-year-old real estate broker's luxurious Hamptons home is valued today at a lofty $6.43 million. This is pretty crazy considering she'd purchased it back in 1995 for less than $1 million. And if anyone can actually afford it, the home is also available to rent for $250,000 a month. 
The entire estate is 7,000 square feet and features gray hardwood flooring, brushed nickel hardware, and French doors. It also has a heated pool, a 1,000 square foot master bedroom, billiards room, and large reception lounge. It is situated in Southampton, only 90 miles away from Manhattan, and serves as a relaxing escape from all the hustle and bustle of city life. Monique Samuels The 37-year-old Potomac star can cozy up in style inside her $4.75 million mansion in Potomac, Maryland. Monique is very careful when it comes to the cleanliness of her space, as no shoes are allowed inside the 12,000 square foot home. The house has a modernized rustic aesthetic, with an open concept, so Monique can watch her children play in the living room while she cooks dinner in the kitchen. Speaking of the kitchen, it has exceptionally large counter space, dark floors, and even a shark tank, with sea creatures she She's named Mufasa, Puff Puff Pass, and Beyonce. And guess what? I got my shark tank. Got to put in my best work. Monique has lived there with her husband, former NFL player Chris Samuels, and their three children since 2016. Although the house is big, it definitely feels homey and filled with love. Tiffany Moon Real Housewives of Dallas's star Tiffany Moon's lavish $4.1 million home is an oasis she shares with her husband Daniel, their twins, and Daniel's twins from a previous marriage. She has a brand new crystal chandelier that guests see the moment they first step into the foyer. Tiffany does not like bright sunlight, so even the technically open kitchen and dining areas still have full ceilings to make sure she's always enveloped in some kind of shade. Her favorite room is her walk-in closet, which even has its own fridge because she always treats her guests to a glass of champagne the first time they visit her closet. Nene Leakes Nene Leakes owns the priciest house of all of her Atlanta co-stars, with a $2.1 million estate in Sugarloaf Country Club in Dula, Georgia. It is nearly 10,000 square feet and contains six bedrooms, six full baths, and two half baths. The TV personality has access to a 27-hole golf course, three private lakes, 14 tennis courts, and an Olympic competition swimming pool. The outside even gives the appearance of a castle, with its white turret-like center and prominent use of arches. Talk about living a life of luxury. Candy Barras Candy Barras, former R&B girl group member and Real Housewives of Atlanta personality, has a four-bedroom home valued at $1.3 million. It features a red-accented kitchen, black-textured walls, and 9.5 bathrooms. As a music lover and Grammy winner, she has her own piano room and wrapped her piano with red crocodile print to fit her funky aesthetic. Candy has lived there with her husband of seven years, Todd Tucker, and their two children since 2012, so it's definitely a home that's been well loved. Although one of the richest housewives on the show, she is probably one of the most financially frugal, as she repurposes her furniture originally found on Craigslist, got her house on foreclosure, and bought her dining room table on clearance. Which Real Housewives luxury home is your personal favorite? Do you appreciate their expensive taste, or do you ever wish they'd be more down to earth? Let us know what you think and we'll see you next time on The Things Reality.